Welcome to our series, Moving America Forward. Each week we'll be focusing on America's entrepreneurs as they take us to new roads, new opportunities, new ways to fill the gaps left by today's failing companies. Our series will be looking at that and a lot more. So come with me and watch as the entrepreneurs of our nation move into the future. And I'm Doug Llewellyn here in our studios in Los Angeles with our guest today, whose name is Lori Zeldwanger. She is the owner of Advanced Release Therapy, which is located in Sedona, Arizona. I'd like you to meet her right now. Lori, welcome. Nice to have you with us. Thank you. You know, it's interesting. You specialize in helping people find relief from chronic pain. That's one of the main things you do, and that really is just the beginning. So it's a pleasure to have you with us. Before we begin and go into your story in depth, a little while ago you had a chance to answer some questions from William Shatner. Let's take a look at a brief portion of that now and see how it went, okay? <laughs> All right, let's watch. Good to have you here. I'm, I'm very concerned about health care. The real issue is how do we keep Americans healthy? And I understand that is one of your goals. So tell me, what are you doing to help us stay healthy? Any new procedures and developments that help people to live more productive lives and in so doing, move America forward? Mr. Shatner, I have developed and implemented a technique called myofascial release, which is the missing link in helping Americans across the nation rid themselves of chronic pain and movement problems. I have built an entire medical healing program around the technique, which balances the body, mind, and spirit through customized retreats I hold in Sedona, Arizona. I am helping to move America forward by bridging medicine with healing to improve the lives of my patients. You know, that's really fascinating what you say. You, you really are involved in a very interesting field. And I'm really intrigued to know about some of the things you do. You talk about myofascial release. What is that? Yes, myofascial release is a form of hands-on therapy where we look at the whole body and all of the interrelationships going on within our body. Particularly, fascia is a connective tissue in your body, and it has this web-like matrix to it, kind of like the, um, if you've ever cut up chicken, it's that white stuff in the chicken. Yeah. And we also think of it like a spider web. So it's the webbing in our body that connects all of the other cells to it to each other. And when you pull on a spider web, all of the tissue goes with it. It comes with it, right. Same thing with our bodies. So it's pulled in different ways. You know, that's pretty amazing. And you do this yourself. You're a physical therapist, obviously, trained. Yes. Uh, I really should point out, you worked for almost 15 years with the, the gentleman who developed this process. Tell me about that. Yes, I spent almost 15 years right alongside John Barnes, who was the founder of Myofascial Release and we traveled and taught seminars all over the country and treated thousands and thousands of patients really who were suffering with pain problems that they could not find results in traditional medical offerings. And this is a very effective technique for that, for helping pain? Very effective. We call it the missing link in the healthcare for pain release. Really. We don't quite have the answers for pain release in, in modern day medicine. We have the answers for many other things. Right. But pain is a kind of a different ball game. And when people are suffering from pain, there's really a vulnerability. They don't really know who to trust. And there's a lot of fear that comes with feeling like there's pain in our bodies. And so we help really find the problem and help them reconnect with their bodies to bring about a more thorough healing and freedom from the pain. Now, I know you work with a lot of clients yourself, one-on-one. -on -one. Who, who would you say are your typical kinds of clients you work with? Well, anyone with chronic pain, and especially those that haven't found the results that they're seeking, but it can be anywhere from a brand new little baby, even assisting the mother in delivery, all the way up to our great-grandparents. And you know, I, I have to say, that's pretty amazing that you would work with a baby, a newborn baby. How can well, you tell they need, they need this kind of help? Well, if you think about it, when we're born, going through the birth canal is actually a traumatic process. No question. And so a lot of times there's amazing complications that happen, coupled with a lot of emotion around that. And so 
it just helps to really set their entrance into the world if we can give them a little bit of this gentle treatment. That sounds very interesting. Another focus of yours is really on the pelvis, yes. which you don't hear talked about very often. No, Tell me about that. We consider that a neglected area, an area that is, um, people are suffering unnecessarily, and it's an area that holds a lot of tissue, and it has over 20 muscles just in the pelvis itself, and we need a way to get in there and really address the pain problems. Incontinence is a huge issue. Postpartum, after, after delivering the child, um, all kinds of these issues, as well as a lot of times the problem is originating there and the symptoms are elsewhere, like headaches. A lot of people suffering from headaches, the problem originates in the pelvis. And some of that is because the pelvis gets twisted and torqued and compressed. And some of it is because there are scars that are unaddressed. C-section scars when we give babies need to be addressed as well as episiotomies that happen. You know, I think it's also important to point out that you're doing physical therapy from what you call the feminine perspective. What does that mean? Yes, well, the feminine perspective is one that really honors and incorporates the masculine, which means we're doing something to someone. But then the feminine is really about listening to what's going on inside of that body, connecting with the person, helping them connect with their body, and then allowing the natural healing energy that is alive in each of us to unfold, come forth, and to do its job. The body really knows how to heal itself. It's about getting ourselves out of the way and allowing that to emerge. And I assume this is effective on men as it would be women? Yes. Feminine, there's a masculine and feminine in right. all of us, so right. feminine doesn't just mean for females. Well, that's very interesting. Now, we were talking about what you do. And Go men ahead. have pelvises, too. Yes, they do. Men do have <laughs> pelvises. This is yes. a new book. Uh, this, this lady has written numerous books, folks, as you're about to see. This is a new one that's just coming out, and it's called Pelvis Wellness Reclaimed, right? Reclaimed, yes. Very. And this explains your technique? Yes, I re really feel it's important to begin to acknowledge that we need to address that area. We get it evaluated, but we rarely get it treated. And in fact, it's an area where we're kind of encouraged to stay away from, but it's an area that needs it so importantly. Very interesting to hear about this. One of the big things you do, you train people in this technique, in yes. these techniques that you do. Yes. Uh, you also have an online training program, yes. right? And let me just show you this. This is your, is this your online training book? This, yes. This That's shows uh, physical therapists, how they can utilize the various things that you've learned and, and in their teaching? All so types learn? of therapists, not just physical, but also massage therapists, occupational therapists, anyone in the healthcare that wants to also use their hands to really promote pain release and healing. And the online program is to help people get started before they can get to a live seminar, which okay. is really giving them the hands-on teaching and give them guidance to it's do the that. It's the real nuts and bolts. The real nuts and, and this bolts. is a CD, the same thing? Is it's this a, much like the it's book? It's the DVD to show. For DVD. So you can show, right. see what's going on and see how the body moves. And All right. And to give you an idea of just how, how prolific she has been as an author, here's another book that she has contributed heavily to. And uh, this is available on Amazon. Yes. Correct? Yes. yes. You know, I want to ask you a little bit about the other things that you do when you teach people, they come to Arizona, they come to Sedona, but also you will go to various areas of the country, won't you? Yes, I travel around and hold these live trainings where therapists come and we learn the principles behind the techniques, we practice the techniques on each other, so it's also an opportunity for them to receive some of their own healing for their own body and as well as develop their professional mastery. You, something that's interesting that I learned from you is that when you, when you think about getting physical therapy, for the most part, people are laying on a table and they're being worked on by the therapist. But you point out, and you do it a little differently, sometimes you have people standing up and you're working on them erect. Why is that? Yes, well, rarely are we injured lying flat on a table. We're usually injured in motion. So slipping and falling, running and spraining an ankle, 
car accident where we're sitting and driving. So it's really important to get people up and have them move, allow their bodies to move to help unravel the restrictions that develop. And there's a, there's a principle called position-dependent memory, and it's that the body gets locked up in a particular memory, and then the, the uh, restrictions start to compress on the tissues. Right. And so we need to get the people back into these positions, unraveling the movement where they were originally injured in order to release the vectors of force that are keeping things trapped. That's what we call holding patterns. I like holding the way you put that, vectors it. of force. That's, that's very sophisticated. Is it really effective? How long does it take to feel relief from this kind of, of therapy? Well, we can, we can feel a relief in five to 10 minutes. And um, depending on what's going on with each person, everybody has their own unique story right. going on inside of their body. We all have cumulative injuries, cumulative traumas. Um, and so each person's situation is unique and we customize all of our retreats to see what's really going on, not just in your body, but we also take it even to the bigger picture of your life. So we look at all the aspects, how the body relates to all the aspects of your life, your finances, your career, your relationships, your physical health and wellness, your emotional health is also a huge part of it because when we're injured and living with pain, there's always an emotional component that goes along with it. And so we like to really bring the awareness to all of that in there, including also our spiritual perspective. And what are we really doing here on the earth? And what's the purpose of us being in this body while we're here on earth? You're a very good spokesperson for what you do. <laughs> I'm intrigued to know, but the therapists that come learn from you, what kind of reaction do you get back from them after they've worked with you and learned a lot of these techniques? Well, f most of the time they really feel like the light bulbs go on and they feel like they have something that they can really offer somebody that makes a difference. And the light bulbs go on because they also have the personal experience themselves. When you feel this done to yourself, yeah. you get it. You just get it. And it really makes a difference in how much more open you feel, how more relaxed you are, how the tightnesses and the tensions start to kind of calm away, and you just free yourself from lots of things that have been pent up. Pent up I'm prompted to ask for people who can't come to you in Sedona, Arizona, but want to find a therapist who has learned from you, is it, is it they want to know the feminine perspective? Is that the, the key thing that they're offering at that point? Well, I think they're looking at the whole picture. So we also want to bring in the feminine and the masculine, which is, which is part of my training programs under my Myofascial Mastery Academy. We That's bring in both parts Very to good. it, but we emphasize different parts. And we really also work with each person individually and tune into what do you need to develop your own mastery. This is such a fascinating field. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Very interesting indeed. Thank you for having me. I'd love to have you come to Sedona and we'll do some release on you as well. <laughs> okay. <laughs>